<laughs> nothing like a volunteer. And that was nothing like one. We're all going to head down this way because there's going to be retrieving up this side now. We're just going because that's the hardest one. Okay. Turn around, Charlotte. Turn around. That's it. <laughs> one to the right, one to the left. Woohoo! Well done. That's close enough. We're going to have to have a dummy throwing competition, guys. I've won two tennis balls for my dummy throwing. I actually beat Howard and Danny on the dummy throwing. You'll be very pleased to hear. Not that I'm competitive, of course. Get him focused when he's looking. Charlotte, call him back. Really turn his body towards the retrieve so that he's in no doubt where he's going. That's better. Well done. That was much better. He's just checking out the area, looking to see where the other retrieve is. Oh, well done, Charlotte. Pop him to heel. Remember, you're looking to line the dog's pelvis up with, with the dummy. So that first retrieve there, Charlotte didn't quite line his body up. So when he went, although he was looking at the dummy, his body was actually going on off in a different direction. Is everybody OK still? Yeah, good. Leave them there, left and right. Don't practice this in one big hit at home because your dog will get, not only will they, will they get bored, but also they'll know the process and they'll start anticipating. I missed it, what happened? Oh, was it a girly throw? Charlotte! You can't let the side down. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> First one down. Well done, well done. He was a bit unsure, she encouraged him. So at home, you don't need much room to do this at all. Even the advanced work with um, Bart, I did in the front room. So you can do it, you can do it in a small space. You just have to be really, really precise and really motivating for your dog. Very good, Charlotte, well done. Very good. So. Break the retrieves down so that you've got, um, you can do your clock one day, the next day you do your lefts and your rights, another day you do your split retrieve. So heel the dog out, put your six down, put your 12 down, stand, especially with moss and with her, get ready, wait, and go and pick the dummies up yourself. Okay? Remember the distraction exercise. So you're putting your dog, Charlotte, that was well done. Could somebody take the dummies and go next? Remember your distraction exercise, as many dummies as you've got, dog to heel, throw the dummy, turn, throw the dummy, turn, throw the dummy, leave the dog there, go and collect them all yourself, let it have the last retrieve, maybe. Okay, so go back a step, especially with, with these two fiery dogs, yeah, hot dogs, go back a step and just practice throwing the dummies out, picking them up yourself, throwing them out, picking them up yourself, maybe let them have one in three retrieves rather than every retrieve. Okay, we're going to break the exercise down from the retrieve into smaller chunks. The first part of it is quite literally um, two drop retrieves. So you start off by putting the dummy down at six o'clock, heel your dog off lead across the centre of the circle, across the centre of the clock, up to 12 o'clock, put another dummy down, left about turn, heel your dog back to the centre of the clock, set your dog up and send them for the dummy at six o'clock. Bring the dog in, retrieve to hand, pop your dog to heel, left about turn again, send your dog for the 12 o'clock dummy. Again, when the dog brings it in, take the dummy, pop the dog to heel. That's the first element of the retrieve for the silver. Okay, guys? Cool. The second part of the retrieve element that you can practice at home is called a split retrieve or a novice retrieve. So what you're going to do is you've, you've done your first part of the retrieve, you then set your dog up in the centre of the clock again, so where the point has come from, in here it's a C marker. Leave your dog, walk up to the 12 o'clock point on the circle on your own, throw a dummy off to the right, throw a dummy off to the left, that's your split retrieve. It's not quite um, your lefts and your rights, 
but it's not quite a right angle either. It's slightly further to make it easier for your dog. So you've got a dummy out to the right, dummy out to the left. Turn around, walk back to your dog so you're now back in the centre of the circle with your dog. And because it's an advanced exercise, you'll send your dog for the first dummy that you threw, not the last dummy. If you were early on in your training, it would be the last dummy first. Because this is a more advanced exercise and the dogs are trained and going to be assessed as such, you would send them for the first dummy down, which means you have to draw that focus away from that second dummy, focus them back on the first dummy. When they're focused and they're lined up, then you send your dog, set your dog up to succeed. Okay? Which one's you going for? Okay. Ready? Okay, that's what threw me. Good, well done. So really make sure everything about the dog and everything about you is focused at the dummy that you want the dog to pick up, okay? There's no point in having your feet pointing at one dummy and your body pointing at the other because the dog's going to go for the point, whatever's pointy, that's what it's going to go after. Well done, Graham. Smile at her. And nice, well done. Good work. Set her up at C, do a left and a right. Okay guys, so from, from this position, what we're gonna do is a little bit of weaving, just social distraction with the dogs. So from that end, Graham, you're going to just weave her in and out of the dogs. Guys, you can stay with your dogs if you like, that's fine. If you've got your lead on, make sure it's nice and loose. So the dog's using self-control rather than being controlled. Okay, Graham, off you go. So just weave in and, in and out of the dogs. Leave a bit of room. Remember, dogs have got tails. So when you go past them, make sure you're not standing on them. Fantastic. All the way around at the end and then weave back up and through. Okay, Steve, off you go. You can follow him. Go on, weave in and out. Keep them with you. Keep them with you. Do you need any food or anything? You're doing ever so well. Keep them focused. He wants his retrieve and that's okay. And then just walk back round and then just heel him straight up the front of the line. Keep them with you. I know he knows he wants to do his retrieve. He says, it's over there, Dad. What are you making me walk up and down for? Good, well done. Well done. Would you just swap positions with Sally, please? And we'll get Sally to do the same thing. Thank you. Okay. okay, so Sally, what I want you to do is just weave in and out the dogs. The dogs are going to be staying nice and steady. Tigers, take them back into the line, put them back into a seat. And in your own time, off you go. Weave in and out, keep that with you. Keep that focused on you. If you're standing still, it's a distraction as well for your dog to have a dog moving back and forwards in front of it. And if you're doing the exercise, then it's really good because the dog's focused on you and not on the dogs as it goes past. And this is part of the assessment because in your assessment, you're going to be walking past a trained dog off lead. And in your gold, you're going to do a recall and your dog's going to recall past your dog as well. Very good, Sally. Well done. Excellent. Good work. Good, give her a stroke, well done. Good work. So, what we're gonna do is show you how to teach a really, really snappy sit using a toy. So do you know with gun dog training, you have to be able to stop your dog at distance. This is a hand signal to stop and you'd blow your whistle. That's your whistle sit at distance. So to get your dog used to stopping, turning and facing you, you use a toy. The second his backside goes on the ground, the second he's in the sit position, he's gonna get the reward of a toy, okay? Moss, what's this? Come on then, yeah, you ready? You ready to get it? You ready to get it? Yeah, go get it. So by having the toy in the hand and putting the hand up, you're using the hand signal, you're getting the dog focused on the hand signal and the dog, because he's looking up, mechanically, the back end's got to go down, okay? Moss, come on, Moss. Ready. Yay, good boy. Okay. He'll learn to get quicker as soon as it, he will just... He'll, he'll realise the quicker his backside goes down, the quicker he'll get the toy. Okay. 
you want to give it a go, Darren? Yeah. So remember, whistling your mouth ready to start. Okay. Do you want to just turn around the other way? That's it. Cool. That's it. Whistle in your mouth. Good. Good. Be a bit more exciting for him. So you ready? Ready to get it? Really get them moving? Good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. Okay. He will be great at it. Good. Well, thank you. Good way of getting a snappy set. Not that the others won't be great at it as well, of course, you know. All right, so practice that one at home. The hand that gives the signal is the hand that's got the toy in. Okay? Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Any questions before we call it a night? You've all got your silver award to practice at home. Oh, yeah.